everybody. It's Marla Martinson. And it's Karen Dahlman with my alien mug today. I've got my Ouija mug. Yay! We love our mugs. We love our mugs. You know, listen, if you're going to drink coffee, you might as well be creative and have something really fun to drink it in. <laughs> and it becomes like we're doing coffee chats, too. This is about our coffee chat. You guys, this is our coffee chat about past lives. Have you ever Ooh, wondered... imagine that. Spooky. Ooh, have you ever wondered, you know what you were, who you were in a past life. I remember I was waiting on tables years ago and I remember a guy, one of the waiters, and he told me that he was in his past life, he was the blind man that Jesus healed. Mm, okay. And I said, wow, that's pretty heavy. So I'm... Yeah, Very interesting. I didn't uh, really believe it, but... <laughs> Everybody wants to be a Cleopatra. Everybody, Everybody wants, wants to be, be like a famous, boss or... <laughs> famous person in history, you know, it's like... Who was I? Right. I, was, I was Napoleon, you know. I was... Right, exactly. Mark Anthony or Caesar. Caligula. <laughs> Attila the Hun. Nobody wants to be him. No, nobody wants to be any of those people. But but uh, Karen knows a lot about past lives because she's actually a past life regressor. Is that what you call it? <laughs> past life therapist. Past life regression therapist. So I That's just, I mean, it. I recently had a past life regression, not with Karen, with somebody else, with my uh, Reiki master, Cat Lowe, and it was amazing, and it was very interesting because I thought, now you'll tell us about this, uh, because I, a lot of people think, okay, you're going to lay there, and you're being, you know, hypnotized, and then you just feel like you're there, like you're, oh, I'm falling into the hole right now, and I'm trying to get out, and I see a man, and I did it, but that's, she said, that's really more like uh, in the movies, that's really not how it usually happens, usually you'll just get little glimpses, little flashes of, of something, and I did get two flashes, I got one flash of me, supposedly, a, a woman, in a field, kind of crouched down in like this bonnet and this long dress, like maybe it was, you know, a couple hundred years ago or something, and somebody was coming to grab me. And then I had another flash of me as like this raggedy mm. peasant, and I was being drugged by both our person I know, John, dragging me to the guillotine. It was like a flash. <laughs> Off with your heads. And I thought, is. And then afterwards, when Kat says, Did you get anything? I said, No. And then I said, Well, wait, I did, but it was just flashes. She goes, No, that's it. That's what it is. That's how it <laughs> is. And I, and I still see, this was a couple weeks ago, and I still see. It perfectly the way I saw it in that session so I think it really was something yeah you know it, it probably was something you just it, it might take more sessions to put it all together it might start populating in your mind through your dreams like you said you still remember the flashes you might start when you start recalling this information it starts more and more might come to you um, Marla, not everybody's visual, and, and most people, you know, they have their better senses, which might be more feeling or hearing. When I was past, doing past life regression therapy on people, uh, some of them would just tell me, I'm feeling like weird or horrible, or I'm feeling the sensations, I'm sensing this, that maybe I'm riding on a horse. It wasn't necessarily, I see this. It wasn't necessarily like, oh, and then I make this man, and he takes me to this place, and then we go to the store over here, and then it wasn't like that. Although, I will say this, some people are like that. That's a little more rare. They're the ones that can go under, and they're t they tend to be more visual. I'm very visual. I underwent, before I became a past life therapist, I underwent two years of this with a, with a psychologist. Then I trained with her um, to do the clinical skills to do it, and... When I underwent for those couple of years, I was starting to, stories were starting to get, you know, longer and larger, and I could see a lot of things. But there would be some times when I just got flashes, as Marla said, and, you know, just everybody's different. But it doesn't mean it's, it's, it's wrong. It just means there's a different way of remembering information. But, it, but it's, a, it's a great tool to use if you have some kind of presenting illness or problem or condition in your life um, that you want to understand the roots of it. And so... I wouldn't say, when people came to me, I wouldn't say, oh, we're going to go back into a past life. I would just work with them in hypnosis and tell them to follow that symptom back. Let's say it's depression. We would just follow it back to where it started and trust that process in the mind, in the brain, and your cellular, I call it cellular memory, not cellular, cellular memory, to take you to the place where it first started for you. So often people would go back to maybe a childhood event. And then once they've cleared up the energy there, we would even go back further. And so it could take you also back into five lifetimes ago. Mm -hmm. you know. And people would say, well, how do I know if this is real or not? And I'd say, are you getting better? 
Yes. And they said, well, I am getting better. I'm beginning to see hope in my life. And I said, that's what's real to you now. That's all you need to know. So it's it's not always the story. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a metaphor to help us heal. Mm-hmm. Um, I tend to believe that I do believe in other lives, but I believe they're all kind of happening, coexisting right now. Right. The now theory, yes. that there is no space and time continuum, and that you can heal yourself as you, as you heal yourself here, you heal yourself over here. And, and I believe, really, that we can change our past because if you go in the back of these times we call it the past we go back we can change those things and how it affects us now so it's really it's complex there's a it's lot complex, of layers to but it but when you think about like we did a video about Bashar and Bashar uh, is is 300 years in Daryl Anka yeah. who brings him through future but he's talking to us now so example that's a good example right and and yes. uh, Okay, so then I've heard people like, let's say in this life, they've got a lot of throat issues. They always have a sore throat, bad throat. Maybe if you t- take a past life uh, regression, you find out that you were hung in one yes. life or something like that, right? Or- let's hear something who's, that's fascinating you brought that up because my the psychologist, Dr. Cletta Long, who I studied with in Austin, Texas, and um, she is no longer practicing. She's in her late 80s now. Um, we're still in touch, though. She's a very, very dear friend of mine. Um, she was starting to get a lot of clients. Now, this was in the um, early 90s. And her clients were coming to her. And without these clients knowing each other, they were to starting to talk about um, being back in the concentration camps in World War II. A lot of them came to her with problems of itchy skin, allergies, uh, um, problems, throat, eyes. Uh, pain in their body, and they were being regressed back. And she didn't. Now, again, you don't lead anybody to where they're going to go. You allow them. You help follow them to where they need to go. And so many of her clients were going back to the concentration camps and being put in those uh, incineries, uh, the, the, basically put in the ovens, the horrible things, the atrocities they did back then. And they were coming back with all that gas. That gas, that memory of that was still in their soul somehow, and they were to release it. I found that so fascinating that these people were starting to now become reincarnated, if you will. Yes, absolutely. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah and e- e- even so, if you could go back and heal, like if you are afraid of heights. I mean, it, it, isn't it interesting that why are some people just, oh, I'm afraid of heights, or I'm, I'm terrified, I'm claustrophobic, or I'm afraid of the water. Why? I, I mean, it just makes no sense. So it must be coming from somewhere, some cellular memory. And yeah. then once you go back and clear so it. Our body does hold memory in it. Our physical body does. And, and so even in this life, there, you, you, if you had a trauma when you were younger, you, you, that, you can re-experience that and it's still stuck in your body. It, it's, it's somatic memory. Isn't that, oh, uh, you know anything about Ral- Rolfing? Yes, <laughs> Rolfing helps. Re- yes, you're absolutely right. Rolfing's great at moving this energy out of your body where it's stuck. So it does work with that somatic memory. And I, when I used to work with um, multiple personality disorders, when they had this horrible abuse that made them split into these altars, if they were recalling something that happened from their past, it, whether it was through the artwork or through their conversation with me, a lot of times the welts would show back up on their arm. So it's that whole idea that our body holds memory. It's just some interesting stuff. Yeah, which is interesting because the body is, is just something new coming through. Mm-hmm. It's just the same soul comes, but the body's made. But somehow that energy comes back in with this new body or something. It can if it gets stuck and it and yeah. somehow we're holding it in our soul. That's why yeah. I call it cellular memory. Cellular because memory it comes back with the soul. The as soul to comes back body. with the soul, and the soul kind of dumps it into the cells. If they have, if there's a, like like your painful death of the guillotine, I'm sure that's why that popped up for you. There probably was some kind of issue that's still holding on to you somewhere, and that was important for that image to pop up. Right, and that's. A, regression therapy is that whatever shows up in, in the storyline is important to you now because you, you follow that you follow your energy back to it and what I got out of that quick flash was unfairly Ooh. acute un, unfairly <laughs> unfairly accused there you go see that just popped you now unjustly well that's what when I saw it I thought I'm I'm going there but it's I'm not guilty but they're dragging me you know how back then you know, in King Henry the Oh, didn't matter who you were. Or whatever. It's just like, yeah. oh, you know, it doesn't even, off with their head, you know, it, you maybe didn't even do anything or something. Exactly. Or, or if you were considered, they thought you were a witch or something and you just were a healer or you just were, you had, you had the ability to maybe um, kind of do mediumistic stuff. They just, or you, you stole a, witch. a potato. I mean, I looked like what, like oh, a starving God. old, old ratty old homeless person or something. I probably stole a potato and then they chopped off my head or something. 
Yeah, and so that somehow is still with you, it came forward, and so when you go back and remember this, the idea is to release it, and I used a lot of light work, we did a lot of internal light work with it to help people let go of this residue, and again, I didn't look at so much how fantastic is her story, I was looking at, as a therapist of theirs, are we getting better? Yes. Are, 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 is your issues, are they presenting less? Are you feeling better? Is your depression lifting? Are these symptoms, because, you know, I, I was working with insurance companies and everything, and, and by the way, using regression and hypnosis was definitely allowed with a lot of insurance companies because it was just, just another way to get into the memories. I couldn't help they went into another past life or a back life or in between lives. That okay. just helped them get better. So I just look at, did they get better? Interesting. All right, well, thank you so much. Hey, you guys, if you have any any experiences with past lives, we love to hear about them. Leave your messages. Hello. Hello. Bye. Bye.